So what is up guys? Manga Makan Zappa here. We're back with another technique video. And uh, today we're going to do an exercise again. Um, kind of like the whole series where people kind of mess up this exercise or these exercises that I'm going to share with you guys today or in the series. This is Today we're going to do the lat pullover. The lat pullover is an awesome exercise for your lats. Um, it's also a really good exercise for your triceps. But the main move and the prime mover should be your legs. So the way we're going to perform this one today, guys, is we're going to use a slightly curved or slightly bent bar. If you don't have one of these in your gym, you can use the straight bar. Straight bars are super fine. Some people even like to use the, the pull-down bar. And I suppose it doesn't really make that much of a difference in the, the grand scheme of things. It's not like you can see someone who has certain lats and be like, okay, he uses the straight bar. Or he uses good, good look, looking lats or good looking lats. It doesn't really matter. But it's how we perform the move that really does. So, check me out. So the first thing that I always like to tell my clients is we're going to step, we're going to take one big step away from the machine or the cable. And then we're going to make sure our feet are shoulder width apart. And then we're going to bring our torso down right up until like there. So it's almost parallel to the ground. So we're already getting a nice big stretch in the lats, which is the most hypertrophic part of, of any movement, which is the eccentric, and it's a big stretch, and then we're going to start by depressing our shoulder blades, yeah, and then we're going to come straight down, up until the, the lap area there, so big stretch, three, two, one, big stretch, depress the shoulder blades, and down we go, three, two, one. Okay guys, so this is one of those moves where if you pick too much weight, you're going to mess up the form immediately. So it's really one of those, it's almost like a, it reminds me of a rear, a rear, um, a reverse fly, but for your, your rear delts. The reason I'm saying that is one of those movements that it's a finesse movement. You really want to use the perfect amount of weight and still challenge yourself. So the main mistakes I see with this one is, number one, picking too much weight. And then someone ends up having their arms super straight and then just moving and throwing the weight around. The other mistake that I normally see is that someone's elbows are too straight or they're too bent. Or they'll start the move like this and then they'll turn it into like a push down as they come down. So the, the elbows need to be very, very slightly bent and they need to remain so throughout the duration of the movement. Okay, and the very last thing, that depression of the scapula, the shoulder blades that I talked about at the very beginning is super key for you actually getting your, your lats locked into position in order to initiate the contraction in the movement. Try that and I promise you guys you're going to feel it and it's going to be really awesome. The last thing that I would say if I'm being pedantic and I know I can be is once my clients really mastered the movement, the initial phase of the movement, I'll start to cue them to move their torso up as the bar comes down. So then the bar comes up, then your torso will go down. So we get a big stretch, we potentiate that stretch and that um, amount of force that's down there and then we come up again. So then they start moving in opposite directions, but we're still getting a really, really good stretch, but also a really good stretch and a lot of tension in the stretch position, which is super optimal for hypertrophy. Thank you for watching the video, guys. I'm gonna make more in the series. Please make sure that you tell me in the comments which videos you feel I should make, which exercises you feel like I should really cover and people bastardize all the time. Please like the video, share the video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Two, one, three, two, one, depress and go. Three, two, one, depress and go. Three, two, one. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. Not that fast, not that fast BS.